So good morning. Today we are going to see about the next experiment that is the study of anti-convulsant activity using electroconvulsometer. Now for this experiment again we need to enter then next page. Click into the experiment. Now this is the equipment whichever you have seen in our lab also electroconvulsometer. So what is the use of this instrument? We are giving the to uh, produce the convulsion seizure or you can say that epileptic seizure. We are using this equipment because there is a the number of the processor there through which you can produce the convulsion chemical induced as well as the uh, through giving the electric shock. So these are the different buttons are there through which you can induce the shock. By shock it will be given for a very uh, you can say that a lesser time for only a fraction of seconds as well as the intensity of the electric shock also it should be less so this is the principle which is involved of this uh, of that now coming to the experiment <coughs> now what it is again the normal uh, thing whatever we have seen into the earlier case also animals are divided into two groups six animals in each and one group that is test group it should be treated with the phenytoin now phenytoin is a anti-epileptic drug what is the mechanism of action of phenytoin it is increasing enhancing the inactivation of the sodium channel because you know the sodium it is produced it is responsible for the uh, excitement clear excitement whenever you can say that uh, if you see the action potential uh, so in the action potential the graph it is increasing to the depolarization when the sodium channels are opening so phenytoin it is reducing the opening of uh, sodium channel that means the deactivation time clear it will be more uh, so these are the shocks it will be given 30 milli ampere of course this uh, ranges are varies uh, experiment to experiment and for the two seconds now we'll see we'll give the administer the drug so again interperitoneal route drug was given okay now i'll click into the one experiment you just observe it first electric shock into the corneal electric shock it was be given and here you can find the three steps tonic clonic and the stupor phase now how to identify which one is the tonic phase clonic phase and the stupor phase so i'll uh, you just observe the video i'll discuss the in the uh, for the next animal So three things we need to here mention it that means time or second it is spent in the tonic phase in the clonic phase and the stupor phase and here either the recovery or the death clear recovery of the death of the animal after giving the electric shock so it is the recovered is there so this is the way now I'll show you whenever we are giving the electric shock generally stimulus it is given so it is for the 0.2 second fine then immediately severe tonic seizure with sub -max maximal so maximal extension of the fore limb and the hind limb so fore limb and hind limb there is the extension it is there that is known as a tonic place generally it may be the 10 to 15 seconds it will be there next is paddling movement hind limb and shaking of the body which is known as a clonus phase so it is um, up to uh, 20 then another here you can find the stupor stupor it is nothing but the, it, you can say that it is just before the recovery it is the slip like clear slip like uh, position it will be there uh, and then it is the recover in the upright position now i'll show you some of the diagram it is it has been taken from the for your understanding from the youtube link i have also provided this youtube link this is the first phase here actually you can find that four phases are there first phase tonic flexation clear these limbs limbs are the uh, you can say that uh, flex clear then tonic extension uh, extension clear 
this is the tonic extension phase and this is the tonic flexation phase so uh, here actually they have given in the software um, both uh, all the both the tonic phase in together okay and uh, next is uh, you can find it the clonus phase here uh, convulsion it means you can say that uh, jerking of the movement twisting all those thing it will be there this uh, video link i have already given uh, which is available into the youtube so you can go through for the better understanding and i have also uh, mentioned that the source and it is the post stage that is the stupor stage and then it will be going to recover clear animal it will going to be recovered and here you can find that uh, it is actually how we need to uh, table this one tonic flexation extension clonus stupor recovery of the date so it is the individual animal time in second again the extension uh, clonus stupor so like this this is the tabular column which we can prepare clear which we can prepare <coughs> okay now we'll just monitor we'll give more so shock it is given for the 0.2 second and see this is the tonic phase clear tonic phase phases are there this is uh, though it is very minimal second in the extension phase and then now it is coming back into the clonus this is the uh, uh, clonus phase can find this this is the clonus phase then it is the recovery stupor phase it is very uh, you can say that lesser time it is given so from this you need to identify again i'll just check it this is the to uh, tonus uh, uh, first phase it is the very less second phase in the tonus extension that is showing next it is going to the clonus phase and then stupor phase also in this in this particular video it is showing very less time and then it is the showing the recovery so you can note it the town and what are the video i have uh, mentioned uh, in uh, your google classroom you can find that that video it is given the different phases it is very clearly clear very clearly so this is our experiment Thank you.